I don't know if you can see this. Take a look at this, this small pin. It's like a bent bobby pin. Believe it or not, this pin is the difference between life and death for our next guest. Watch this. Harry Houdini is known to millions as the greatest escape artist who ever lived. When you think of Houdini, you probably don't think of New England. But there is a man from New England who claims to be the reincarnation of Harry Houdini. His name is Norman Bigelow. The similarities between Harry Houdini and Norman Bigelow are too numerous to be ignored. Their method of escape is the same. Both use lock picks and pins in a race against death. The difference is that unlike Houdini, Norman does all his escapes in full view of his audience. He's also willing to put his life on the line in every performance. He uses no tricks, magic, or illusions, only skill. His life's goal is to carry on the work of Houdini and bring it one step further. In the words of Norman Bigelow, Houdini lives in me. Norman Bigelow. How about a round of applause for him? During the break, during the break, Norman was confined in this device, and he was confined in this device in front of the audience, full view of the audience. I'd like to uh, explain a couple of things about this before we go on. I'd, would you gentlemen come on up here? I'd like to introduce to you Officer Jimmy Raymond from the Fitchburg Police Department. Jimmy, why don't you come on up here? Jimmy, I want to verify the fact that, that you helped get Norman into this, is that correct? Yes, I did. Okay, now also, he is wearing, he is handcuffed with your handcuffs? That's correct. That is correct. I'm asking you to do this because I want all of you to know that there is not a trick here. This is not a trick or an illusion. This is something that um, is man against time. Norman is also um, the only person who has ever attempted to do this escape. Jimmy, thank you very much. Right over here, we have two paramedics from the Massachusetts Ambulance Service, also of Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Why don't you come on up here? Now, they're here, obviously. <laughs> they're here just to make sure that if anything does go wrong, that we have someone that can take care of uh, Norman. You all set? Okay, why don't you move back? Now, Norman has three minutes to get out of, three minutes and four seconds to get out of this. Now, these knives are real, and uh, Jimmy Raymond would also uh, concur on that thought. What happens is, at three minutes and four seconds, this is loaded on a spring, these doors will shut. This is called the doors of death. Are you ready, Norman? Uh, I'm almost ready. Take... Okay. You tell me when you're ready and we'll start the clock. Just tell me. Okay. The clock has started. is that 
leather guard on his right hand. And that's because with his right hand, he's working very close to those knives, and he's cut himself several times. He has one minute and 30 seconds left.